Welcome back. So yeah, now we have our divine quest to make Cloud into a girl. We need to walk around this uh, wall market, it's called, and uh, find various pieces of a disguise, if you like. You don't actually need to get all of them, but uh, yeah, I'll explain after this dialogue. Yeah, depending on how many pieces of it you get, you become uh, prettier, if you like, which just opens different lines of dialogue. In the meantime, I'm just going to run around the town and talk to all the people that I need to to start uh, getting stuff. You only actually need to get a wig and a dress, but yeah, we'll get more than that. We're going to make Cloud the prettiest damn boy you've ever seen. Which is really creepy, to be honest. Believe it or not, this is actually relevant to what we're doing, coming into this random place and eating. <laughs> Tiny bit of lag there. <laughs> I've had better dog food. Nice. You have to say it was alright though for them to give you this coupon. Coincidentally, you get the last one. So, we're using that coupon, we go to the pharmacy and we get another item, which believe it or not is still relevant. Which we need the digestive, so we'll select that, you'll see why soon. First we're going to go and uh, go in the inn and uh, buy something from the vending machine like that guy wanted us to earlier. The reason why I'm doing it in such a random order is because it's much faster, I'm just doing whatever's closest. Of course, to get the best result, buy the most expensive one. So we'll go back and give it to that guy. I have to admit, when I did this the first time, I really thought whatever was in the vending machine would be far more suspect than that. I like the way it says, take this, it's not much and he gives you a friggin' diamond tiara. It doesn't exactly sit well, it, it seems like something to me, you know. <laughs> Better than pretty much anything anyone else has given me, I could probably sell it for loads. Anyway, let's go and talk to the drunk dad in the, sh uh, the bar, here he is, isn't it?
<laughs> Aris is really ruining our streak red here. Yeah, we have a choice now, and you need to pick a soft and shimmers to get the best dress. It doesn't actually change what you look like, I don't think, though. Anyway, this is why we need a digestive. If we go over here to the toilet, you can see this guy wants to go in there. There's somebody being sick. So we'll give her the medicine. Oh okay. yeah. And now we have sexy cologne. Isn't that useful? Yeah, that should uh, definitely help us be more attractive, which is clearly the entire point. Jesus, just getting stuck behind all the bar stools there. Anyway, uh, where to now? At least I'll go back to the clues still. That was quick. Lots of people there like you. Something really quite suspect about all this. It's only going to get worse as well, I tell you. <laughs> so now we have our dress. So this time we're actually going to have to go down to the brothel we went to earlier and actually go inside it. Talk to this guy and get a member's card. Notice Aeris waits outside and all of the blokes trying to get in just fawn over her. Something very weird about this. <laughs> so yeah, you have to choose a room to go into. Oh, that's nice. I don't like her either. So yeah, we have all of these different named rooms. This one's being used though. God knows what's going on in there. Yeah. This one just has a censored name, which is quite worrying. We could go in that one, but let's not. We'll go in the other one. It's funnier. How emo of you, Cloud. I'm always alone. Wow. Yeah, he is moody. She's got a point. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite what you were expecting, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, this is just so creepy. Wow, something really worrying about them saying that after undressing Cloud. Thank god the camera angles are bearable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How did Cloud ever become like the badass that all the fanboys like? Cloud is 21 apparently. Dot dot dot. Got that over. Yeah, yeah, now we have a bikini. <laughs> well, thank God that's over. Let's get out of here. And let's never speak of this moment ever again to anyone. Anyway, we'll rescue T uh, Aeris from all of the fanboys out here. There we go. And yeah, now we'll go and get the wig. The wig is the last thing we need. You've got uh, the cologne, the dress, the tiara, uh, the bikini, and now we just need the wig and we'll have all the items. Just have to do a little mini game to get the wig. So yeah, we have to beat this <clears throat> beat this guy doing squats. The important thing about this is uh, to not do it too fast, because if you do it too fast, Cloud gets a bit confused and pauses. And now the... Yeah, it makes you waste so much time, you're pretty much guaranteed to lose. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do it quite slowly, but efficiently if you like. I'm not going to screw any up and it will probably make me win quite easily really. For a whole 30 seconds, yeah, there you go, you see the uh, my competitor just screwed up and ended up standing around for a couple of seconds. Like that. I don't know what's quite so confusing about doing squats, but hell, something is apparently. He is doing them much faster than me though. So I think we've got this covered. Yeah, there we go, we won. Well, by one, that was close, but still. Now we have our wig, and now we are ready to go into Don Corneo's mansion. And seduce him. <laughs> Well, that's that, so uh, now that we have all five of our items, I guess that's the end of this video. We're running out of time, so I have to split this video into two parts. The next part will actually uh, go into the mansion, so see you then. <laughs>